Oh, that's quite good here, isn't it? of drugs offences. Her spokesperson has confirmed she's being held in, at an East London police station. Officers say a 24-year-old woman arrived earlier by prior arrangement. The United Nations is releasing around £5 million from its emergency relief fund for Burma. It's feared as many as 60,000 people have been killed by the deadly cyclone. A million are now homeless and in desperate need of clean water. Aid efforts are being hampered by delays in granting visas. Dan Collison from Save the Children says things are set to get worse. You can paint a picture of deteriorating public health, possibility of hunger setting in and widespread destitution. An investigation has begun to try and work out who fired the shot that killed a man after a siege in West London. The standoff between the gunmen and officers lasted for five hours. Police eventually stormed the flat in Chelsea where he was hiding. The 32-year-old is believed to be barrister Mark Saunders. Political analysts in the U.S. say Hillary Clinton's bid for the White House is over. The former First Lady failed to get the results she needed in the latest contest for the Democrat Party nomination for president. She was heavily beaten by Barack Obama in North Carolina and just scraped through in Indiana. Still on the campaign trail, Mrs. Clinton's appeared on stage with daughter Chelsea, but she appeared to acknowledge for the first time that she may be defeated. Our next president and my mom, Hillary Clinton. No matter what happens, I will work for the nominee of the Democratic Party because we must win in November. Seth Blatter says an all-English Champions League final proves the need to limit the number of foreign players in the Premier League. The FIFA president says the Manchester United versus Chelsea showpiece points to national inequality. He wants six homegrown players in every starting eleven by 2012. Blatter says the controversial move would be introduced slowly. If the principle is then applied, it will automatically create a restriction uh, of contracts, uh, but it will be done step by step. And Rangers have beaten Motherwell 1-0 in this evening's SBL game at Ibrox. Captain Barry Ferguson scored the winner for the old firm side. The result leaves Rangers four points behind rivals Celtic with two games in hand. It's three minutes past ten. Now another hour of romantic love songs with Chris Carnegie. 106.4 and 103.3. Pipeek Radio. Chris Carnegie. Well, fancy meeting you here. Coming. That's how I play. Right, so dad one, dad two, and uh, so if I press that one. Center. All your motoring needs in one stop. Hey Stanley, just like you said, boss. Radio. What have we got here then? Do these work? All this rubbish in the press about we will be wrong. No ads to play. I be 
飞。